so you click in this video so you can see how we went from this room to this room i'm a1 wolf this is my cinema room my home theater i decided to build a home theater just because i love movies and if you know me then you know that i love movies by the way check out movies with a1 wolf that's another series that i do on youtube um yeah so let's get into this So the first thing that we did was lock up the windows because I wanted to use that wall for the screen. This was an easy job. I just got guys that were working around the house just to do it for me. Uh, just knocking out the window frame and then breaking it up. Straightforward stuff. I'll do another video maybe if you guys are really interested. Hit me in the comment section if you want to know how to do that. Get straight into the platform. So with the platform, uh, yeah, this is straightforward built out of timber and plywood it's not it's not uh, too complicated but it is laborsome um, if that's a word uh, it takes a lot of work it takes like proper work but uh, yeah it wasn't too intense uh, it took us half a day we did work into the night because we took a break halfway through uh, my GoPro died uh, so I didn't charge that we stopped recording but then yeah we moved into night and finished off at night um, yeah but it it wasn't too complicated the job um but it has to be done properly just to make sure that uh you don't have issues with vibrations and noise and sound um uh vibrating the platform uh so yeah you use a hammer drill to basically uh to hammer it to the surface <laughs> and to the walls uh to make sure the platform is solid uh so once we pull the skeleton of the platform we make sure we, we put on the plywood once we're done with this process, uh, yeah, we were pretty much done with what we had to do. The next step that we did was the carpeting. So this is the finished product. Uh, the so yeah, the platform is solid. I mean, it had no issues. Uh, what we had did with the carpeting is instead of using uh, just regular carpet, we used carpet tiles, industrial carpet tiles that had a beachum surface underneath. So the beachum surface turns into glue over time. Uh, so beyond just using the, the regular carpeting glue in terms of like cleaning it's a lot easier and doesn't get so dirty over time it's industrial so yeah damage is not an issue yeah so what we did uh, on the corners though we used angle iron uh, that's just to finish off the, the trim to make it look good I wanted a metallic feel uh, later on I'm thinking of adding some LEDs just to make the room look more you know cyberpunk 80s feel um, that's something that we will see down the line. Besides that, I'm very happy with the platform. Oh, yeah. So you watched this video and I basically showed you how I built this platform that I'm sitting on right now. Yeah, that's just the first of many videos. I'm gonna break down how we built this entire cinema room and we'll be upgrading going forward. This is just the beginning. So I hope this video inspires you to do something similar. And if you would like something similar, but don't necessarily have the same passion in building and carpentry as, as we do, I'll put a link to our website up here. We do carpentry and we could build similar, same type of data for you at a much reduced price compared to what our competitors and other people out there are doing. We build our seats ourselves we do the bulkheads ourselves we do the platform as you saw for ourselves and i'll be doing tutorials on each video on how to do each one of those things or how we did those things i will have more detailed versions of these videos where i break down step by step those will probably be on a skillshare or patreon and so forth because they have to pay for that we don't want to cheapen the industry this is an industry in itself so we don't want to cheapen the industry yeah you're gonna to have to pay for those if not, you can just hit us up and we can do it for you. Or we can teach you carpentry ourselves. Which is something we're going to be offering soon enough. I believe everybody should, if you are inclined in such a way, learn as much as you can in a skill of specially creating. It's therapeutic. I do it for fun. I do it out of love. Uh, it's something that I've always wanted to do and I'm now in my apprenticeship. I am still just an apprentice. Still some time before I become the master, but I do it myself. I have a team of guys, but I do it myself. And the reason I do it myself is because it's good for me. It's good for my spirits, good for my soul. And it's also good for me to be able to be handy and 
know exactly how to fix things if things become problems later on um yeah that's just me a1 wolf signing out and stick around and see some more renovations coming up this is gonna be fun so i'm gonna sit back and enjoy watching myself some youtube just like you're doing away